Welcome back. Today we got another little job on the Jeep to do. We got a leaking brake cylinder here. Uh, the brake shoes are completely soaked in brake fluid. I was always wondering why I was losing brake fluid. Not much, just steady over time, always a little bit. And uh, in the morning this brake, you could hear it was binding uh, because it was rusting because the brake fluid is corrosive. So we need to take it apart, put a new brake cylinder on, and new brake shoes because they are completely soaked in brake fluid. So it doesn't really break very well. It does break, but uh, yeah, it has seen better days. The shoes are actually not much worn. This one is more worn than this one, but uh, yeah, it's all soaked in brake fluid. So we need to take it apart and look at it. Taking the brake cylinder out, I'm pretty sure we're going to make the brake pipe as well because the, the, the nut behind here is probably, I don't know if it's visible, it's most likely seized, like on the other side, which we did, which we did a while ago. Uh, and the brake lines are all anyway, so it's time to do that. Let's take it apart. You take the rotate them 90 degrees and pop them out and then take all the springs out remember how it was together and uh, that's but that's about it it's pretty simple on these brakes uh, there are more complicated out there but these ones are pretty simple it's just getting the brake cylinder out that's uh, the most challenging part because the bolts which are holding the brake cylinder are most likely seized all right let's carry on then before you pinch the brake line, take a piece of plastic and put it here so that closes the vent so it doesn't rip that much. And <coughs> then just pinch the line, but crimp, basically make it flat, crimp it off because we cannot we cannot rescue that brake line we just uh, make a new one but uh, to avoid dripping all the brake fluid out uh, just pinch it leave it on until you've got the other one finished and then take it out connect it bleed it job done here we can see that's where it was leaking that's the new one looks about the right size it's the same as the other side or it's mirrored actually the bleed nipple has to be at the top um, so they do fit I know that providing it's the same as on the other side so we're gonna cut that line just pinch it off before we cut it so there's not much brake fluid coming out uh, and then pray to get the bolts loose which can be a bit of a challenge these, these, these little bolts are holding the cylinder in the register is actually here, so these are just preventing the cylinder from coming out. The main force is actually transferred via this hole, which is behind the cylinder. So uh, it's the, the only job of this uh, fasteners is actually to hold the, the cylinder in. Uh, what we're also going to do, we get rid of that uh, rust ring here, so it's easier to get them on and off. Uh, we have a bit of a groove here, uh, that's an old story, I bought this hardware new and this thing was too big and was, was riding on, on the brake drum so that made a little bit of a reach in the drum. There's nothing I can do, that's how it is. Uh, you can see it on the brake shoe as well, there's quite a bit of a, of a reach there. Anyway, need to get that thing out. And we do it exactly as uh, mentioned, just first pinch the line, then cut the line, then get rid of the brake cylinder, clean everything, probably brush and paint it. Uh, these points have to be greased a little bit, because that's where, this, where the brake shoes are actually riding on. And if they're rusty, uh, the brakes may not work well. I had the problem that on reversing one of the brakes were binding. I'm not sure if it's this one or the other one. Uh, we'll see. 
there is two possibilities. Either the brake material came loose from the uh, from the shoe itself, or it's broken. I've seen that before, or it's just worn down to the metal. Uh, sometimes it just couldn't reverse. It, it was just binding completely. Uh, it, it happened two times to me, so it's time to look at it. Anyway, that's it uh, so far. Let's get rid of that stuff which is there. Well, this one is a bit stubborn. So, this cylinder is cast iron and uh, I just destroyed the cylinder with an air hammer. There's just absolutely no way to get there from the back. And the, the bolt was completely stuck. Uh, we cut the edge off as well with the air hammer and then we probably can wedge it out. It's it's so bad. That's the bolt. It was completely rusted in. And then not very long so if you if you destroy this edge here, uh, it breaks off. That's what happens. Um, I tried an angle grinder but you can't get there. Uh, from the back the same, there's absolutely no way and these bolts are they're relatively hard so I tried to knock the head off with a with an air hammer, no way with a chisel from by hand and a big hammer, no way so I came up with this idea, just destroy it uh, we're, fairly certain, we're fairly certain the new ones are fitting so we can actually go the destruction way which I normally don't do because sometimes parts are not fitting all right, there's some brake fluid dropping out. Um, catch that. All right, um, let's destroy the other side and. Uh So, brutal destruction, but we got it out. We just pinched the edge, gave it a whack with a hammer, and then it came out. Bastard. Okay, pinch the brake line. I pinched it already, so I just need to cut it. And give it a clean, and then fit the new one. Okay, give that a clean. Groupie broke me a coffee. Um, so I'll have my coffee first. So we painted it, cleaned it, painted it. Uh, it's it's a sink spray. So we let that dry a little bit, and uh, we know why it was locking up on reversing. I took the drum off, and it just fell off. So. Uh, could see it was ripped off here, so it was binding, um, and that's the reason why it was binding on reversing. Sometimes the problem is that the glue came loose. I don't know. That has actually a bit more wear than the other one. We replaced them as well, so the brake cylinder is already a new one. We did that a while ago. Uh, yeah, I was expecting something like that. I just didn't know which side it is. I, the drum doesn't look very nice actually. Got a few grooves here, but I'm not gonna touch it today. Okay, so that's a new set of brake liners um, as well. At least a mystery, no, not really a mystery. It was clear that there's something isn't right there. I don't know what it did there. It was just the, the glue gave up. It's a bad thing. But uh, we got new Delphi ones. Hopefully they're better. 
they look the same, but uh, maybe the glue is better. Who knows? I don't know. All right. Um, we need to put a new brake line in, which is down here. It's probably hard to see. With the, cu the coupler is here. Uh, I replaced that brake line a while ago. I can't get that out from the axle. So I just put it next to it. And uh, we need to make that piece to the other side completely new. There's no point of keeping that old one. Uh, when I did that I just cut the other side and uh, put a new fitting on. You can still see the old one here. I can't get it off. It's that, that screw here where the torch is pointing to is screwed into the axle and you can't get it out. And it's the vent of the axle, so if you break it off you got a problem. So we leave it on as it is and uh, just tie it down with the other one. All right, okay, so that's it for that. Uh, let's carry on. So we got uh, new brake shoes in. We're just flaring the uh, new brake pipe. Uh, don't forget the nipple before you flare it, otherwise you're in trouble. Uh, this is a fantastic piece of kit. I, I showed it when I did the brakes last time. Uh, it's uh, what's it called? Power hand, and uh, it's really great for tight spaces. You can't compare it with those with those crappy thingies here. Uh, they, they never work, but this works absolutely fantastic. If you follow the instructions, it just works. And uh, let me open that and uh, I need two hands. So and that's how the flare looks like. Ah. So, it's perfect. And. What you do is you just drive that end into it and it just works great. Compared to the other ones where the cheap ones, they are not, they're not cheap, they're about 50 pounds, 70 dollars. Um, but it's worth it because it saves you so much time and it's, it's a reliable flare, uh, it just works. All right. Let's put that in and uh, do the other side. So we got a new brake pipe fitted. Uh, new over there. Everything seems to be tight. Uh, we are just about touching. Uh, we drive a few miles and then we'll double check it uh, because the liners need to walk in to the grooves actually. So. Uh, brake pedal is stiff, so I think we uh, bleed it. We use that one. Uh, just put that on a bleed nibble, put some air on, and press the trigger, and it sucks. Um, it sucks the air out. Uh, it's uh, easy because it's a one-man operation. Otherwise, you need two people and pump the pedal and all the thing. Anyway, we're done. I didn't film a lot because I want to get finished. Um, that's it from this one. Rear brakes with uh, strange liners. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, until next time. And that's our little bastard which didn't want to come off. So we just Knock the edges off and then you can pry it out. This was a scrap container.